Hello, my name is Gianpaolo Albanese and I am a Senior Solutions Architect at AWS. Today we are going to demonstrate how to upgrade your Windows Server operating system using Amazon Systems Manager Automation. The targeted audience for this demo are IT professionals that manage the infrastructure for your company and systems administrators that attest to support, maintain and upgrade your virtual server environment in AWS. This video addresses customers that are running end of support Windows Server needing to upgrade. Please note that this is just one of the methods we offer to assist our customers and stay tuned for upcoming videos on this topic. In this demo, we're going to demonstrate how to upgrade a Windows 2012 server to Windows 2019. Some prerequisites, obviously you will need an existing EC2 instance to, that needs to be upgraded. Uh, you should have SSM installed and working on the instance. And please note also that TLS 1.2 should be enabled for this automation to work. Another requirement, you'll need at least 20 gigabyte of free space um, for uh, the uh, installation media. And if the instance is joined to an Active Directory domain, we do recommend that you specify a subnet for the target that does not have connectivity to AD because um, during the uh, actual upgrade process, there might be some host main conflicts uh, that we would try to avoid. Uh, for this to work, you will also need a public subnet with auto assign public IPv4 addresses set to true. And this automation will only work for Windows 2008 R2, 2012 R2, Windows 2016 and 2019 servers. Please note that for Windows 2008 R2, the EC2 will be upgraded first to 2012. And then the, that's going to be a second upgrade to the target operating system, which might be 2016, 2019, or 2022. You will also need an IAM role to be able to talk to systems manager so that you can execute the upgrade process on your behalf. This automation, it will allow you to upgrade an instance that does not use AWS provided Windows licenses. However, there are some additional steps that you need that you can find in our documentation. So let's look at my EC2 instance first uh, prior um, to uh, execute the automation document. And we're going to collect some information as well to uh, help us through the upgrade process. So the instance that I, I'm actually going to try and upgrade is Windows Application Server 1. Let's connect to the server first. And we're going to con connect via RDP. Because I am using a key pair I'm going to upload my private key and the crypto password. Copy this password. And if you can have a scratch pad, save this password. We're going to need it to log in to the up, on the upgraded Windows EC2 instance. So I already have a desktop client created for this. So let's open this up. Let's connect to it. So there you go. So you can kind of see it's a Windows Server 2012 R2. And we have a bunch of application installed on it. So we can close this RDP session. Let's close it. And so the next step is to go to our systems manager console. So if you go into search, type systems manager and let's go into the console. What we're going to be focusing on is in the automation section under change management. So click on automation. If you can type clone, press enter key, and we're going to have a few options here. What we're going to be doing is because I want to show you the different flavors operating system you can upgrade to, uh, I'm going to select this automation document. There are a couple of things that we want to collect. So if you can go back to your EC2 prior to kick this off, there is additional data points that we want to collect. So open a new tab. Let me close this. Well, let's collect some information from that EC2. Okay. So what we're going to be collecting is 
the instance ID, so you can copy and paste in your scratch pad. Uh, the other item that we want to collect to is also the IAM role. If you notice that it's already set up to connect to SSM, but you want to make sure that whatever IAM role you're going to be using um, uh, to upgrade or connect to SSM, you capture the IAM role. So copy this piece of information as well. And the other item that we need is we need the subnet where this machine is actually and you want to copy all those this subnet ID. All right. So once you have all that information copied into a scratch pad, right, including the password, uh, let's go back to the system manager documentation. Let's click on execute automation. Okay. I want to bring up a couple of things here. Uh, the document description, again, here basically gives you the different paths for upgrades, right? Um, so uh, read through it. So we're going to pick um, the Windows OS that we want to uh, upgrade. In this case, it's going to be my Windows Application Server 1. The instance profile that I'm going to be using. Now it's time to use your scratch pad. The subnet ID is the period machine. Again, if you if that machine is joined to Active Directory to avoid any conflicts, you want to make sure that you select a subnet that does not have AD running on it. And the targeted operating system. So I am going to upgrade to Windows 2019. And we can click on execute. Okay. So it's going to be in progress. These are all the different steps it's going to take. So we're going to leave this console up and running. I'm going to be pausing the video right now. It's going to take about two hours to complete, uh, especially for the upgrade. So we'll come back once this is completed. Okay. So after a couple of hours, we can actually look at the execution status of our job and we can see that everything successfully completed. So at this time, let's go back to the EC2 management console what you're going to be doing is you're going to be going to the ami under images and i already searched for mine but this is the image that's being created from uh, from that upgrade process so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be selecting this image and we're going to be launching instance from ami all right so we have some uh, parameters that we need to fill in so you can name it or not name in the server. At this, at this time, I'm going to name it. So I'm going to just call it App Server 2019. And if you can see here, this is the AMI that we picked or selected. You have an option here to select also the instance type um, that you want to apply this image to. So at this time, it's actually selecting a one vCPU. But what I want to do is I want to select a four CPU vCPU machine. You don't need a key pair. Remember, we cloned it from our original uh, Windows application server. Um, so hopefully you saved in the scratch pad the password needed to log in. Um, you would have to select the VPC and the subnet. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to just allow traffic uh, from my IP address instead. So custom IP. And I'm not going to change anything else, right? So I'm just going to check one more time to make sure I have everything that I need. It seems I do. And let's launch the instance. I will log in into the machine and see if the upgrade was successful. Okay. We're going to try now and connect to the machine. And if you remember, I asked before about the password. So go back into the scratch pad. And let's connect to it. And it should work now. And as you can see, the machine is up. Let's look at the Windows version. Uh, 
And there you go. We have successfully upgraded a Windows 2012 machine to Windows 2019. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to read the blog post demonstrated in this video, feel free to scan the QR code you see on the screen. And please join us again for other Microsoft on AWS content available on this channel. Thank you again.